Fall, 10 minute time limit match in the ring, weighing in a 16 stone, six pounds from Sydney, Ron Miller, referee Wallaby Bob McMasters. Well, have we had colour, have you got colour? Tennessee, 17 stone, two pounds, super mouth himself, Don Carson. <laughs> looking Don Carson either as he takes off his very bright blue robe throws it onto the bench and will go to the action well we'll see now if he wrestles as well as he talks and <laughs> by dear oh dear can he talk Well, he spoke to the studio audience as well as he takes a side headlock on Ron Miller. Oh, nice maneuver from Ronnie Miller as he comes up with a standing or is not standing now on the canvas. A beautiful wrist lock as Carson goes to the outside of the ropes. And as Miller backs away, Carson goes out after him. As he tiptoes backwards and forwards, in and out, Don Carson. Comes from behind, takes down Ronnie Miller. Carson over the top. and twisting around Carson over the back Miller breaks out and comes up with a hammer lock pulling the arm of Carson's right up Carson won't give Miller any chance rolls himself right around and gets outside the rope again as Miller backs away Carson goes to the leg dive Tennessee Don Carson he used it Remember him here tagging with Dick Dunn from Tennessee. Underneath and drags one straight in and comes in again as Carson winds in after Ronnie Miller. Ooh, stretching right up, Ronnie Miller holding on to the waist of Don Carson as Carson's trying to get round to the throat area of Miller. Miller holding up, Carson leaning with all his might, trying to get the head of Miller's down to canvas. Miller's now to his knee as Carson's still working on underneath, under the chest of Ronnie Miller, rolling that fist of his right around, attracting all the muscles in the chest area. And slams his head heavily into the canvas. Again he comes back, Carson slamming the head of Ronnie Miller. He gets up all right and sends one in the midsection and then gets Carson some of his own medicine and that's well appreciated by the studio audience. Miller goes out after Carson and it's only the referee dragging Miller back as a count applied. and I might remind you it's 10 outside, not 20 like it used to be, it's 10. So they've no, waste no time getting back into the ring. He goes on the leg of Miller over the top he goes a standing toe hold and then brings him down the out referee was Don Carson's going for those ropes Carson's pulling the leg of Ronnie Miller. Ronnie Miller in trouble here, trying to get over, but all oh, the pain is too much as his head goes back to canvas. What you gonna do now, boy? Oh. Even under these duress and strain, you can still, Carson still can't shut that mouth of his up. No hole still applied. Ronnie Miller over the top, gets one leg over, pushed away by Carson, rolled over again, and Miller still in trouble as that toe hole is applied by Don Carson.
coming down right across the inside of the knee of Milago working right on those ligaments as he comes down heavily Don Carson notice how he has that toe hold locked between his thighs and he's rocking Ronnie Miller straight across the canvas Ronnie Miller on the outside of the ropes now referee calling for a break from Carson and he won't break clean pushes him away there but Carson gets the last blow in comes in after the crippled Ronnie Miller Over the top, toe hole still applied by Carson. Miller coming over the top, trying to stretch it. Don Carson, but Carson again applies extra pressure to the knee and the toe of Ronnie Miller. Ronnie Miller, a former front row forward, playing for eastern suburbs in Sydney. About five years ago, and uh, it helped to develop him as a very rugged and strong wrestler. Although Carson, the maturity of Carson, has Miller in trouble at the moment as he still applies the toe hole. The referee calls for the break. Carson backs away but comes in smartly again after Miller as soon as he gets him to his feet and then kicking into the hamstring muscle and kicking him right around the ring. Gets across and slams his knee straight down over the top of the jaw of Don Carson. Oh, and Miller comes back beautifully. A nice boxing manoeuvre there from Miller. Carson came in quickly and ran right into one of the midsection of Miller. And they call on Miller. Yes, stretch the leg of Carson as he comes down with a beautiful leg break right across the kneecap this time of Don Carson. So Carson's knee in the same trouble as Ronnie Miller's. Down a toe hold, and up he goes, and down he goes again. Really working on that ligament right in the knee. The cartilage in trouble as he puts a spinning toe hold, and Carson comes up with a chop to the throat. Forearm job from Ronnie Miller. Carson hitting the deck, hitting the top rope. Drag back in by Miller. Miller comes in underneath, picks him up and slams him down. Up the ropes comes Ronnie Miller. Down he comes, a big splash straight across the top. Two ops, two count, just pushed away. Lucky there for Ronnie Miller. He almost had to shoot the mouth in Don Carson. Carson comes in, a chop to the throat of Ronnie Miller. Bobby Shane is the gentleman I was talking to you about. Now, I tried to ring Bobby Shane the other day in Atlanta, Georgia, to try and get some information on him, and when I got through to the office, Bobby was there. He wouldn't even come to the phone. They just said, that fella, I got a message from the telephonist that Bobby Shane sends a message that... When I get to Australia, I talk to nobody on television. I don't want to be interviewed. And he wouldn't even talk to me on the phone, but I still can't give you any information about Shane. Just I take the time for your, you people to try and give you something on Bobby Shane. He won't even come to the telephone to talk to me, so it's a mystery to me again. Will not wrestle on television, will not even be interviewed. But Don Carson getting back into the ring as Ronnie Miller goes in and puts a flying mare on him, sends him to canvas, pushed away by Carson. Carson comes to his knees, rolls in and drags Ronnie Miller and tries to bring him down to canvas, holds on on these all fours, but Don Carson is the man underneath with a fist of his going right on the Adam's apple of Ronnie Miller. Well, ladies and gentlemen, there's one minute to go. One minute to go in this match. It's a one fall, ten minute time limit match, and they have one minute to go. As Carson comes in with a throat, digging into uh, Ronnie Miller. 
Puts an Irish whip on and off the ropes comes Miller. Sends over, tucks over beautifully Don Carson too. But oh, Carson just wriggled out of that. Very lucky indeed again as Carson slams ahead. Slams ahead of Ron Miller down into canvas. Ronnie Miller to his feet as Carson goes over. Ronnie Miller coming back. Ronnie Miller coming back. Again, Miller has it. Drags over Don Carson. One, two. Oh, Carson just rolled out of the way again. I'll tell you what. 15 seconds to go of this exciting match. 15 seconds as Miller's got the upper hand. Miller comes in. He puts a flying Mary. He gets over the top. Oh, he's pushed away by Don Carson. Come on, Ronnie Miller. And the crowd calling as Carson slams in. We've got seven seconds to go. Come on, Ronnie Miller. Ronnie Miller pound for pound as they punch into each other. They're going blow for blow. Carson takes and slams ahead of Ronnie Miller down in the canvas. Slams ahead of Ron Miller down into the canvas, ladies and gentlemen. The match is a draw. It went the time limit. A one fall, ten minute time limit match. It went the ten minutes. No, no victory. The match is a draw. Chair outside. He's giving him a card. He's telling him to get back in the ring. Walter Von Erich got in after a terrific atomic drop by the Golden Greek that knocked him outside the ring. And when Spears went out to follow up the attack, that's when he was viciously attacked by the vicious German Waldo von Erich. Spiros are in the Golden Greek of Waldo von Erich. This has been a bruising, brawling match. You can feel the heat when these two men are in the ring. The German and the Greek champion, and he cut his head wide open. The blood is flowing with a cut over the head of the Golden Greek Spiros are in, and Waldo von Erich is in for the kill now booting away, putting in the German boots on the Golden Greek Spiros Arian. And his face is a mess. The blood trickles down over his forehead into his eyes. He smashes his head against the turnbuckle. He smashes him in again. Got a full Nelson on him, smacks him into the turnbuckle again, holding his head in there. But Spiros goes down. He went backwards, knocked Eddie Swan over. Eddie Swan is over. Spiros is the first one crawling over to the edge of the rope. He's coming over there now. He's over at the at the ropes. Waldo von Erich is following him after with Spiros out on the apron of the ring. Waldo von Erich is coming in now, trying to get a Spiros. He's banging him in down. You can see the blood pouring down his face. As Waldo up there, he comes in with a hard right to the jaw. And Waldo Von Erich got his leg caught in the rope. Spiros are in is putting the boots in. He puts the boots in. He's really putting them in, getting his own back and one to go on with. And the crowd is going wild at Festival Hall as Spiros literally pulls it on. He brings him over. He comes in with a knee drop. He covers in. One, two, three. And Eddie Swan. Is in the count of three. He didn't see that leg caught in the rope, but the count of three. The fans are, are chanting for somebody. They're chanting. Eddie Swan has had the shirt ripped off his back, doing everything in his power. Big Bad John throws him out of the way. He rolls out of the ring, and now putting the boots in. This could cause serious injury, but here comes Thunderbolt Patterson attacking both the Big Bad John and Dick the Bulldog Bar and is really pouring it on. Oh, a human Thunderbolt is turned loose in there. He is erupted, and every fan at Festival Hall, all 7,000 of them, are up and cheering. The 